So I've had quite a few people ask on the videos how I get this dark theme in Windows. And I've given this out a few times, but I thought I'd make an actual video on exactly how to do it and also put all the tools in one place so you can download them and just follow through. So I'll put a link in the video, but this is my uh, GitHub YouTube repository. So it will be here when you'll find all this, all the stuff I've done in the YouTube one. So there'll be a link in this description to get there. You go into the Windows dark theme, and then I've also got, you'll notice a few settings here. So SQL Management Studio, if you use that, there's a simple guide here to follow to unlock the dark theme, which might now be in the latest update anyway. So I won't go through that because that's simple enough and it's specific to SQL. So you can do that. Got one for Office 365, which is simple enough in case people didn't know that you simply go to your username, account settings, and then you can actually change the theme to dark in the Office applications. And then we've got Windows and Firefox. So we'll cover Windows first, and that's to get this whole dark theme here. And I've also made a README, so you can follow this, but I'll, we'll go through this at the same time so you can see how it works. So basically the first step for pretty much all custom themes on Windows is to install UX Theme Patcher. So in the Tools folder, you'll find UX Theme Patcher. So you simply install this, you click Next, Accept, Next, Agree. And then you get to this page, and this is where it'll ask you to, it'll say here status unpatched. If you haven't got it patched already, you can see I have. And you simply click Install, but because mine's patched, I don't need to. Uh, also notice here, your system version. So make sure, because all the themes I've put in here are specific to version 1703, which is basically the latest uh, Windows 10 uh, theme. And well, latest Windows 10, which these themes will work on. So make sure your Windows is up to date, because if you don't and you install, say these themes on an older version of Windows, this will stop you being able to log into the system. And we'll go about how you recover from that. Um, you know, if you accidentally do that at the end of the video, I'll explain how to come out of it. But basically make sure you're on 17.03, or if you're watching this video in the future and it's gone up, then make sure you're on 17.03 or later. Um, and also tend to make sure your themes have been tested on that version um, of Windows. So everything right now is up to date in Windows. So as of today, um, we're on 17.03. So you'd install this first and click install here, and that'll patch and then restart your computer. Once you've done that, you'd go to Old New Explorer and basically double click this EXE. I'll put a readme in here as well, explaining, um, well, this actually come with the, you know, the, the software, but I've left that one in. Um, but basically I've put a screenshot here of settings and this shows the settings of how you want it to be selected. And I've checked this show status bar here, which some people don't check. Uh, but that allows you to see this status bar here at the bottom where it says five items and the size. So if you want that showing, check it. Otherwise, don't. So basically double click this EXE and then you can see this opens up. So check whatever you like. Leave everything else default there. Just follow the screenshot and then click the install. Now it's already installed on mine. Um, but when you click install, it'll pop up with your warning to say, you know, confirm admin privileges. You click yes. Once it's done that, it'll pop up another one, but in the background you won't notice. So down here on your status bar, you'll notice a flashing, you know, this shield symbol. So once you click install and yes, then another one will pop up down here. You just have to click it to bring it into the foreground and click yes. And that'll get this installed. And what this does is basically remove, you know, the ribbon that's usually here that's got like your context menu and things. You can still press the alt key to get your old, old style menu. Uh, but Windows by default had the, you know, the big ribbon and you cannot style that. So we basically remove it and change Explorer back to the old style. And that's what this does. So with that installed, um, you could leave it there. But one thing you might notice is in control panel. So if we go to control panel, this bar here, and also when you go into places, uh, this bar here, the background would be white on all themes because it's independent of a theme. So if you go to control panel dark, uh, you've got three versions. So two, uh, one does this 2CC, uh, sorry, 2C2C, which if you open up is just the color there. Uh, this is the 28 and that's all black. So basically just double click on one of these. Say you want this version, number one, and it'll say it's gonna set it to 2C2C2C. And you'd click yes and restart your computer again. Um, 
So because I've already got that installed, I don't need to. And then once you're done, you can double click control panel default and it would restore it to what it originally was if you weren't using a theme. And again, I've provided a little, in, you know, read me there. So it's as simple as just double clicking on one, two or three, depending on which color you want it to be. Uh, and that installs control panel dark. Now that's the control panel dark, the open, the old new explorer and the ultra theme tend to be the same thing that's required for almost every dark theme on Windows. That's why I've put them simply in a tools folder because um, they're almost universal to every theme and they won't hurt another theme. You know, it just doesn't really change anything because this can't be changed by a theme. This simply removes the, the bar that can't be styled and this is needed for any custom theme. So always install them three. Um, and then we move on to installing actual themes. Uh, there's one other thing I will mention here, which I have, which some of you might ask. And you'll notice in this PC, I don't have all of these folders repeated. So by default, what really annoys me is in this window, you'd have, you know, desktop, downloads, documents, pictures, all here in quick access. And then in this PC below, you'd have them all again. So then to get to like your C drive or your D drive, you'd have to scroll down. So I made this little... Um, 64 bit remove entry. So this removes, you know, all of them from showing in this PC. And if you right click and edit on the reg edit file, uh, you'll see that it's basically just a tutorial I got from here um, on how to do this. And this removes these entries. And you can change this back to show, you know, if you want to, them to reappear. Um, but if you want to get rid of, you know, those entries there, just basically double click on this reg edit file, accept, and then say, yes, you want to you know, install and it'll say successful. And then again, you might have to restart the PC, but I think you can just close down Explorer and reopen. Uh, and the final one is this. I've noticed in a few themes that I haven't applied myself yet. I'm waiting to see if it's, it's needed. But I noticed one of the themes give me this option uh, and it says to make apps use the dark theme. And when you look at what it does, uh, it basically sets this uh, theme, the registry entry in the, the themes personalized option. So it's, it's obviously a standard Windows thing. Uh, app shoes light theme uh, is set to false. Now I've got a feeling all that is is when you go to personalize and you go to I think it's colors uh, you have this option here choose your default app mode light and dark so I'm pretty sure that registry setting is already set I haven't bothered checking but um, you might want to install that you might not it won't harm anything if you do um, so that's all the tools installed and that you only have to do that once so now for all themes that you want to install, it's as simple as taking a theme. So I've downloaded two that are free and this one at the minute is this uh, penumbra that I've got applied and we're going to install this arc one. So for all themes that you download, you'll basically get a folder. You'll usually get a lot of crap in it. So you usually get this UX theme. You'll get a few text files. You'll get some shortcuts to the internet. You'll get this. You'll potentially get that. You can kind of ignore all that in the themes now and all you're looking for is the folder that finally gives you a, a dot theme file or multiple, and then a subfolder with you know the actual theme content in. So in all themes, the folder might look messy, but just dig down and find just the theme. So in this repo, I've already cleaned them up for you. And these two themes are nice and clean. You simply open the folder, and this is now what you want to copy to add the theme. So this is what I'm talking about here. Copy all files and folders contained in the dot themes file. Uh, basically copy all files and folder uh, that are in the, you know, a folder that starts having the dot themes in, which basically means all of these. And they want to go into C Windows Resources Themes. So if we open a new browser, or a new Explorer, C Drive, Windows, uh, Resources, Themes, you'll notice you should just have the arrow and potentially these one and two. I can't remember whether I made these or whether they come with Windows. Uh, and then this is where you simply paste all your new themes. So right now, if I go to personalize and themes, I've got the windows, uh, the penumbra, and I'm guessing this is maybe the one and two. And then if we just select all this arc, copy and paste into here and then continue. Now we go to personalize. We should see in the themes, we've now got all the arc themes. So if I put that there and say this here, and then we move this over and we change to arc, you'll see now we've got this you know nice blue 
Uh, still a dark theme, but blue with a bit of colours. So the arc's quite nice. You can go between different ones. They give you multiple different options that you can flick through. Um, and then, you know, pick which one you like. Once you've got one you're happy with, uh, there seems to be the arc dark flatabulous, I think. I think all the rest are a bit. Arc void kind of removes the, the gap between them. Or we can go back to this penumbra, which I'm going to stick with this penumbra for now. Um, but there's how you install the themes. That's all there is to it. Um, and then if you want more themes, um, so I'm going to maybe, uh, I definitely don't want the flat, the void, dark, flat, darker now, not the first one. Um, I'm guessing it's that one I want. So I'm going to clean up all those because I won't use them. And if I go to personalize, there we go. So at least now I've got one option to flick between uh, the one I liked, which is the, the default one, uh, and this penumbra. So I'm going to go back to the penumbra. Um, so that's the themes. Uh, also, make sure you do go into colors and change this to dark. Otherwise, if you've got it light, then you get this horrible, nasty, bright white in standard apps. So do the dark as well as that. Um, and then for more themes, you pretty much get them all from these two locations. So if you just go into, I'll put these links in the video and they're also in the repository. But if you just go to these two places, the Clio desktop is where you get paid um, themes usually. They're like $3 for a theme, um, but they got some nice ones. And then here's the DeviantArt, it's usually where you get most of the free ones. So literally browse them and they have a readme file and all the installs are very similar. But this should hopefully cover um, how you install almost all the themes. So just remember there's one other thing as well that I'll just put into this folder. Uh, so in the tools here, I'm just create a new one. And uh, this is white after sleep fix. And there's also a bug in most themes. Uh, well, I'm pretty sure it's all of them. Say so you open like notepad and you'll see the background here is the same as the theme. Well, when your computer goes to sleep and wakes up or from hibernation and wakes up, this then goes back to white and sometimes borders. There's a few settings that don't restore correctly. Um, so I forgot to also paste this one in. So this is again just a registry um, that you can look at, see what it does. Um, you know, it's pretty simple stuff. Uh, so you can double click this to install. And then if you want to remove it afterwards, you simply double click this and it resets um, all these. And all it's doing is basically removing all of these values so that the theme, uh, you know, the theme's values apply. Otherwise, these values get overridden. These are the default uh, values that would be overridden. So we'll also install this one uh, and then you'll basically have no issues from there. Uh, I use these themes all the time and there's no real issue uh, with you know any theme. They, they work perfectly well. Everything's always dark. There's no glitches anywhere. Um, the only thing is, as I mentioned at the start of the video, make sure you are on the correct Windows version for the theme. That's really important. Um, so if you press the Windows key and X and then go to System, you can see the version here, uh, which is, you know, 1706. So you want to make sure you're on 17, uh, sorry, 1703. Uh, or was it 1706? Uh, yeah, 1703. <laughs> so when you get your themes, wherever you download them from, they'll say what version they're for. So make sure they're for that version. Uh, and these two are. Uh, if you do happen to install a theme uh, and you're on the wrong version of Windows, or even if you think you are, and maybe the theme's a bad one, the symptom you'll get is when you restart your computer, uh, you'll go to the login screen, but when you click login, it fades in, fades out, and you're straight back to the login screen. And that's because the theme, uh, you know, won't correctly load on that version of Windows. If you do get that issue, it's as simple as going to, on the login screen, you'll have a power button down here that looks like this power button. And you simply click the power button, hold the shift key and click restart. Uh, and then you'll get a bunch of options and one of them is enter safe mode, you know, restart in safe mode. Uh, do that, log in, uh, and then you might be able to go to personalize in safe mode and change the theme, but I'm pretty sure by default, it will then just simply reapply the default Windows theme. Um, and then that's it, you just restart the computer again and it's, it's removed effectively your selected theme. So you're safe to log back in. So. Some people say that the themes, you know, you've got to be super careful because they can break your machine and all this lots. And 
Um, I've never had a situation where I couldn't simply go into safe mode and, you know, back out and then restart the computer once more. Uh, but do make sure you're on the correct version of Windows before doing that. Um, and that, that's all there is to installing the Windows dark themes. Uh, the one other thing I'll go through is the Firefox, and I'll go through it really quick. But basically, I now use Firefox. Well, I've always used Firefox for the most part. But when I open up, you'll see it's all dark, other than a slight flicker sometimes. When you go to the new panel, flickers the once. But now after that, every new tab, there's no more white. It's all dark. Uh, you know, I can go to anywhere, and this is all dark. Um, you know, type in test. Um, and, you know, just it's easier on the eyes. So again, some people have asked how I do this. So I've made this readme file, or this how-to file. And basically it states to go to about add-ons in appearance first and change your theme to compact dark. So that's as simple as opening a new tab in Firefox, typing about colon add-ons. Uh, they're going to appearance and then enabling this compact dark, which is built into you know the latest Firefoxes. After that, you want to enable this add-on so if you go to here and add this add-on dark background light text uh, and that gives you this option up here this AA if you click this and I did disable it you'll see this is the standard websites go to Google it's all bright you enable this and all the websites go dark for you so that's you know the next step uh, the last step is when you first start up that Firefox will flicker white, or sometimes this will flicker white. And to help that, um, you want to go to Options and Colors in Firefox. So you go here, Options, and then Colors down here. And then you will select Background, and you can see I've changed mine to black and the text to white. And this stays as Never. And then click OK. Um, and that flips around the default colors um, of the background, and that helps with, again, the flickering. Um, and the final step is, in order to get this new tab to open up blank like this, with just a dark background, uh, I install this add-on, uh, which is just customize uh, about new tab. So you install that add-on, and then you go to uh, about add-ons, and then you go to extensions, and you'll have this customize about new tab. Click options, uh, uncheck everything, so none of these are checked change the background color to a dark color and click OK. Um, and that's it. That's all I've done to get Firefox, you know, this dark. Uh, so hopefully that's helped everybody realize how to get a, uh, you know, a nice dark uh, Windows theme where, you know, all your windows, your control panel, your notepad, everything stays nice and dark and easy on the eyes. Um, any questions, any uh, issues, just post a comment and I'll help out.